What's up ladies and gentlemen, once again I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I want to talk a little bit about 2017. How to have a security camera system using only Android operating system units. I'm going to be using old cell phones as cameras. I'm going to be using an old Android box as a receiver that will be recording everything. Uh, I'll be having this thing on for a while and we'll make sure she doesn't crash. I used to have crash problems back in the day. We'll give her one more shot with new stuff, new flagship stuff. Actually, LG G3, so it's 2017 in September. LG G3 is a good phone. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty stable phone as far as that goes. It's definitely a flagship phone. Before I was using really cheap ones today, I'm going to be using really good ones. But the Android box is an old Android box. We'll see how it goes. All right, so here's my LG G3s that I'll be using, and I <clears throat> thought I'd let you know I'm going to be using IP webcam on each of these units, and then the main Android box is going to be using Tiny Cam Monitor, Tiny Cam Pro. I prefer Pro because Pro can Pro can automatically search your network. Otherwise, you have to set up all your cameras one at a time, which isn't a really big deal. All right, so you're going to want to go ahead and get IP webcam running on all the units. So within IP webcam, you have multiple options for your video preferences. If you're just messing around, if you're just starting up, don't worry about anything. It's good. But in the video preferences, you can change how good the camera is, what camera you want to use, what kind of resolution, how good. Generally, the better the picture, the slower the image is going to be getting to you. You might want to use this on a secondary network with a different router, uh, depending on how much Wi-Fi information you got going through your tubes. <clears throat> so, anyways, let's just scroll to the bottom and we'll start the server. Now, to show you this, so of course this is seeing the camera, and if you look at the very bottom, you can see that address, 192.168.0.22, port 8080 is what that means at the end. If you actually put that into a web browser, you can see this from the web browser. So let me put this somewhere else and we'll give that a shot actually. So if you go to your computer, go to the address bar and it'll take you up to a page like this. Go to, go to browser. There's different tabs you can use up here to get different pictures. So go to browser in there. You can see exactly what it's looking at. Now, again, I am going to be doing this on an Android box with multiple viewers, but I just wanted to show you that you could use, also use IP cam just with your standard web browser. Anyways, let's move on to the Android box. So right here we have the original box and we have the inside of another unit that got bricked while attempting to update to uh, the latest Kodi. These are boxes that were really popular in 2016 but unfortunately didn't last very long into 2017 because Kodi upgraded and these boxes weren't able to take that upgrade. Alright, so here we go. This is Tiny Cam. Uh, the only way that I could get Tiny Cam onto this box was to back up the app on the Google Play Store to the APK bring it over with USB, then it installed. I was having problems getting other apps to install, but luckily this one worked. So, Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. You get your live view, background motor, runs the background, of course, uh, managed cameras, scan network. I just want to scan network. So, uh, I can remember 18 and 22, I already got those, but yeah, run a scan, It'll automatically pick up any of these units, these old phones. So there you got, I already got those two. I should have four. Excellent. So it scans a whole IP range, as you can see. Add. Added three cameras. I didn't need three. I really should have given them all different names. Now I gotta wait for them to click in. All right, all right, not looking perfect, but not looking bad at the same time. You can see my computer room. I should have one more camera around here somewhere. And you see my computer room, my backyard with the pool I gotta get fixed, but this year I'm raising some sunflowers in there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, front yard, and I know I got another camera in here somewhere. Oh, 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 wrong button. I keep using this keyboard thinking I'm using Windows, but it, uh, you can't right-click. Myers, yeah, 
Where are we? Tiny cam, there we go. So you got a runner in the background. So you can, again, you can set this up to save. It wasn't until I started writing this app I realized how poor my Wi-Fi in my house actually is. So we're going to, damn it, we're going to edit the camera. Come on. Come on. Where'd you go? Dang it. There you go. Oh, wait, you're there. No, that's not what I'm after. I want to, oh, over here. Cameras per page. Maybe we can switch that up so we can see the front yard. There's the front yard. Wait, that's not the front yard. Front yard. Should have another one around here somewhere. No, no, that was right. That was right. That's all four of them. That's all four of them. But yeah, you can change which one comes up as the main. You can make it bigger. This is a 1080p uh, system. And these are all running at about standard rates. So just pretty pixelated, I gotta say. But I like it. Hey, my uh, my sunflower finally turned around. But yeah, so this is definitely po possible. This is definitely going to be possible. It might not run smoothly, but it's definitely a cool project. And uh, I'm going to run this for a while. I'm going to see exactly how long it lasts. But so far, I'm not having any complaints. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this. Really appreciate it. it helps me out. And I'll uh, catch you folks later. Bye-bye.